Driving Problem Solvers is working to get solutions to the problems that you face every single day, including your bumpy commute. We hear it so often about those potholes in western New York, which is why 7 News reporter Taylor Epps is checking out the worst roads around town, working to get them fixed for you live this morning on Chandler Street, breaking down her mission. Hi, Taylor. Good morning to you. Lots of potholes out there. Ed and Katie, good morning to you. Hopefully that snow is behind us, but of course we are still seeing the impacts of the weather and definitely still feeling the effects. So here we are in Buffalo's Black Rock neighborhood on Chandler Street, where if you've driven through here, certainly you felt it. Just check out one of these potholes. Take a look at the road or at least what's left of it. Cars coming through here, certainly feeling the damage, but this is just one road. This is just one pothole in Western New York. This is a problem we are seeing all over the place. A problem I hope to help you solve. From Chandler Street in Buffalo's Black Rock neighborhood to Carolina Street right behind City Hall to Park Avenue in Lockport. Potholes and rocky roads are wreaking havoc on your cars. With the cost of oil going up, getting these problems fixed is getting harder and more expensive for cities and towns. We've seen an increase of about 30% in the cost of our uh, paving contracts. When we spoke with the Buffalo Department of Public Works Commissioner Mike Finn at the end of March, he was looking to the state to include some help in the budget. Hopeful that additional dollars come through so that all the local municipalities can continue with their plans and deliver uh, quality roadways for, um, for drivers. In the finalized budget announcement, Governor Kathy Hochul proposed more than $32 billion for transportation infrastructure. We're not just rebuilding our infrastructure overall, we're also finding out how to adapt to climate change, making our infrastructure more resilient. But when will that money be invested in local roadways? We reached out to many of you on our WKBW Facebook page asking where you want to see roads improve. Ophelia telling us West and East Delavan and Elmwood. Solette says the potholes on Tracy Street off of Delaware are about two feet deep. Lisa Marie says Chandler, Grove, Bridgman, and pretty much any street in the city of Buffalo need work. And it's not just the city of Buffalo. Mariona saying Route 437 on the reservation in Gowanda and Dave pointed out Park Avenue in Lockport. Now, I've already checked out several roads like this one, but I want to talk to you. Show me the worst roads in your neighborhood. I'll drive out to you. We'll check it out. All you have to do is send me an email at 7problemsolvers at wkbw.com. Include some pictures in there and tell me where you are. I'll come check it out, and we'll see what we can get done to get these roads changed all around western New York. For now, we're live in Buffalo. Taylor Epps, 7 News. Chandler is the worst. It's two-way traffic, and when you're driving down Chandler from, I think it's military, yeah. And there's a school bus coming. You literally have to dodge and weave to get around the school bus, number one. But number two, to avoid all those potholes. Yes. It's terrible. There are a ton there. I have a feeling that Taylor's email is going to be blowing up, too, after <laughs> no this kidding. story. Because people are like, I got a place you got to check out. <laughs> Taylor, thanks so much.